But today is a very special day. Today is pickup day. You ready? All right. Man, YouTube was good, man. Right now we are pulling up to Sneaker Con, man. Shout out to Sneaker Con. They invited your boy to pull up and check it out. For those of y'all that don't know, I do have a big love for sneakers. I used to resell and flip shoes all through high school. That's how I bought my first car. I remember having all the Jordans, but not having a car and thinking it was backwards to have the freshest shoes, but have to walk everywhere to go where I wanted to. So we're gonna go in there. I don't have it on my mind right now that I'm gonna buy a bunch of shoes. I'm probably not gonna buy a bunch, but we're gonna see what they got in there for SneakerCon. Never been before. So it's hype that I get to go now. And we're gonna park and see y'all inside. Oh man, we probably got some of the furthest parking ever, but we here. First tattoo yesterday. Now that might lie. I'm right here. I say a tat right here. Who did we're, better? We're gonna give y'all a little <laughs> detail shot. Y'all say who, who did better. Get, get a detail shot. Zoom in on it. Oh shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll let y'all vote in the comments. We'll let y'all vote in the comments, man. I got all unreleased kicks. Can I, we can film them? Yeah, yeah, please. Okay. I don't want, I don't want Nike to come get my ass for this. I'm trying, I'm trying to get a scoop on the sauce. DJ Khaled joints. That's hard. Yeah, y'all must got crazy. Y'all must got super plugs, man. I would definitely copy. I'm a fan of classic colorways. I've never been a fan of a lot of new release Jordans. I'm a fan of like things that Jordan actually moved in. It got like a nostalgic feeling to me. And that's really like the colorways that I like to rock. So these are cool. I always wear a simple white tee or a black tee. I don't really do a lot. So to have something like this is essential for me in my closet. So I pass on them. I pass on them. Nah, I'm cool on that. Them colorways like it's too loud for me. I like I like creative shit like this. I like things that are really creative. And they got like nice like crazy texture. I don't know what these are, but the texture's on its fire, the color on its fire, like I said, I love green. Something like this just isn't me. I feel like I feel like you're doing too much. No disrespect to DJ Khaled, I'm just like, it's not my taste. Javani, it's your boy Vic, man. I want to send my love, tell you I appreciate you, bro. Keep going, man. You know it, dawg. You know it. Be safe. All right, bro. Design's clean, bro. What's up, bro? Keep pushing that shit, man. So, what's your name? My name is Cozy, bro. Cozy? Yeah. Vic, bro. It's a pleasure to meet you, man. For real. I'll see you again, bro. YouTube was good. Today is a very special day. If you guys watched about two months ago, we had a video come out. I'll put it right here saying that I bought my dream car. And if you watch that video, you can see I really didn't show a car. And the reason why I didn't show a car is because we had to order it. But today, today is pickup day, man. So we about to head to the dealership. Finally, I got my hands on my car. It took a while for it to get built, but it's here. So we're gonna head to the dealership, handle all the business and the not so fun stuff. And then hopefully by the end of it, we're taking off. has been doing some negotiating today trying to get my car of course for the best price I can I was able to get the number to where I wanted to be at then we came over here to the back part where we were about to do a little finance and we see we see a couple bikes on the wall so we holla at Chuck the manager here my guy Derek put in the good word and you know let your boy walk out also with a bike which is a W so W for BMW of blessing us with a bike. I don't have a bike yet, so I'm excited now to have a BMW bike. I didn't even know BMW made bikes like that, but 
some guys putting some air in it right now, putting the seat on for us. And we might be pedaling out here, man. We was looking at this one. It's like the M series bike, but they got like real, real skinny tires. I think it's a, a racing bike. I don't really need all of that. So we're gonna go with the mountain bike. Like I said, my guy putting some air in the tires. Hey, look, we all come to Nally. DMW out here in Decatur. Yes, sir. Derek is the only salesman that's gonna get y'all bikes when y'all roll out. Every customer that comes to Derek roll out with a bike, man. That's a guarantee, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't quote me on that. Don't come here asking for bikes. Like but they bless your boy. If y'all wanna slide through, my guy Derek gonna bless y'all, man. Yes, sir. Y'all come holler at me. Nally BMW. Come on, man. Details on it. <laughs> BMW, BMW is where it's at. Got pass. I don't like tickets. Why would I, you know? I don't like, who like paying tickets? They always give you the nicest pen possible to sign with. Where's Derek at? Man, we done. Hey, no. She's squeezed, she's squeezed. Y'all put the little tag. Gotta take the plastic, y'all. That's the best feeling. I got one more right here. Oh, man. This is insane. This is amazing, I ain't gonna lie. Big body. All right, just left the dealership. Had to get some food. We came to Pollo Supremo. And man, this is the best chicken I probably ever had in the land. I'm gonna show y'all. All right, I was gonna show you as I opened it, but I'm too hungry and excited, but look at the season on that chicken. It's a symphony of flavors. And this guac too. And the guac. Fire. A symphony of flavors. It's a great day so far. Alright y'all, before we officially show you the car and give you a little tour, we gotta show you where we started because that's the most important place. I, this is like my first official car that I bought outside of my first car. This is like the first nice, nice car that I got. But while I was in high school, this was a nice car and it still is a nice car. It's a great car and it get me, well it used to get me from point A to point B till it broke down. So remember, the only reason why I even got this car now is because I drove this thing till literally the wheels fell off of it. The engine blew up on me and that's it, man. I couldn't do it no more. I've saved my money and saved my money and saved my money and saved my money until I'm finally able to be in a position to purchase a car like this that I am driving now. But this is it, man. This is my baby, you know, and, and she's out here. I might restore, might not. She might be a daily. She probably needs a whole new engine if I'm gonna do so. I didn't take the best care of her. I drove her to the wheels, fella. I drove it to the dirt, man. I would travel from North Carolina to Atlanta and back and forth and back and forth. And, you know, we went through hell and back, man. This is this is my girl. She got so many trees on her right now. I'm sorry, girl. Got like a whole branch on her. I never meant to treat you like this. All right, you gotta zoom in on the, on the details. You gotta show the details. You know, we was doing it, man. We was thugging it. The reason why I got that dent right there is because I remember having to go and get kerosene fuel for my heater in my garage when it was in the winter and I ain't had no heat in the garage to cut hair. And I took a left turn and smacked the pole. It was snowing in the villa that day and I had to go in the middle of the snow to get some fuel across town. And you know, that's how I gave her this little boo-boo right here. Tire, done for. Got a little boot sticker stuck on the window. I, as, as much as I even had money driving this car or felt like I was in a better position, until that thing did not work no more, I wasn't gonna get a new one, but I reached that point. I am just blessed and grateful right now that I am even have the means to have a new car, but, but all right, we're gonna give you guys a tour. We're gonna show you the new car now, but where you started is extremely important, so I'm just grateful, man. That's all I can explain. You ready? All right. 
boom. Here it is, BMW X6 M50i. I chose to go the SUV route because I just feel like I'm becoming a grown man and I need more room. I got more stuff in the back. I cut hair on the street and I need a chair and a table and my tools back there. And I like to go play basketball and I bowl. So I always got junk in my trunk. Hey, hold on. No, 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 no. We can't put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. I ain't got no. Nah, I ain't got junk in my trunk, but I be having junk in the trunk of my car. So I, I, I feel like you know, like when, when you become a man, you either get the SUV or you know, you get a truck. I'm not really like a truck guy with with a truck like that. But man, I like nice things. Like I won't lie to y'all. As much as I discipline and hold out and get the nice things, there's got to be a point in your life where you take care of yourself, and that's exactly what I did with this. I made sure that I secure the house first for my family. I made sure that we have a crib. Made sure that we got a roof over our heads that I own that nobody could take away from us. I thugged it out with the car as long as I could, and now I'm at that point where I gotta make some sort of purchase for myself. As much as I work and do things for others, there's gotta be a point where you splurge and do something for you, so you can feel motivated when you wake up and you drive and you, you know, like you gotta wake up and know that I'm grinding for something. So this is my turn to really love myself and and get me something that I always wanted. So I feel good for that. All right, show you the interior. I was able to order this, like I said, when we were over at the dealership. So I went with red interior, kind of like, you know, a typical guy would go red interior, carbon fiber on the little details. You know, I decked it out. I, I made sure I took care of myself. I, if I'm gonna go ahead and spend my money on getting a nice car, you might as well get something that you really want to drive in. So, I got all sorts of nice details in it, man. I don't wanna make this like some like flex, like super intro like car. It's a nice car. I'm, I'm grateful to be in the position I am to have the car that I have. I think it's gonna be good for the next 10 years of my life. I still got, yeah, still got, still got blue tape on it. But, yo, I will be driving this thing till the wheels fall off of this. Which I hope not, but you know, I'm very excited. Very, very excited. It is built like a coupe in the back, so it's sloped. Gives that nice aggressive look. And then plenty of room in the trunk for all my junk. All right, y'all, it is extremely important for me to let you guys know that the car that you drive does not make the person in it. And although I have a nice car, I never ever wanted my brand and my image to be the dude that just like flex and seem like he larger than life. I only got this car because of the sacrifices I made it up to this point to not have a car that I wanted five years ago. But I saw that, you know, in the next five years, if I save every dollar I get, then I can get something I really wanted. So I got what I really wanted now. I'm grateful for it. But regardless of what car you drive, whether it is the Chevy outside, whether it's the Civic or the Accord or whatever it is you got, it don't make the person that's driving it. You could have a nice car like this and still be messed up as a person, but get yourself right. Make sure your priorities are right first. Manage your money the right way. A car is cool, but I also know that the car is not the investment that I think it is. And it's not meant to be that for me. I just made sure that I splurge on everything else I needed as far as getting a crib, making sure my business is in order, having you know, all the cash flow I need for my business, reinvesting into my business. And then now I'm able to sit back and look and say, all right, I can finally do something that I've wanted to do for a while. Unfortunately, my car blew up on me or I would have still been driving a Chevy, but play your car is right. I promise you the car that you think you could buy today. If you wait three more years of saving your money, two more years, even a year, you could probably get something way better than what you want, want right now. And that's what I did. I waited. I waited till I could get something that I really wanted. And I'm grateful you guys were able to make this happen. The way that you guys are supporting my content and supporting my brand gave me every opportunity to be in the position that I am. And I'm grateful for y'all. I couldn't do this without you guys. But I know there's a kid watching this who is inspired by me. Somebody out there that's inspired by me. And I don't want you to think because I have a nice car that you ain't who you are or who you're supposed to be because your car isn't as nice. It doesn't matter. This shit is just four wheels that get me from point A to point B. And if y'all could take anything, just take that. Like, I could care less about the car, I promise you. I wanted to show everything else that was necessary to get here before I even show you guys, because the most important thing is how we got here. And we got here by making sacrifices, grinding, and saving our shit up. So, to every other kid out there, save it. To everybody out there that's trying to get what they want, save it. I promise you, when the time comes for you to get it, it will be all worth it. Driving the Chevy was so worth it. So, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all watching this. I probably rambled probably like said same thing a million times but i don't want the message of this video to ever be misconstrued or for a kid to feel like damn i need the bmw i ain't like vic like yo you you are so worth it you are so much more than the car 
don't worry about it i promise you don't make the person driving it i love y'all thank y'all for supporting again oh this is how i feel right now on the inside because damn y'all made this shit happen for me i'm i i love y'all i'm trying not to cut so much but yo for real from the bottom of my heart i will see y'all in the next video i love y'all and i'll see y'all again man all right real quick before we go because i forgot and we got a bike man shout out to chuck for trusting me the manager over that nally bmw my guy came through he said you know what do you mean social media and I said, Chuck, we're going to make a beautiful video, a beautiful vlog for you, man, which is this video right here. Chuck, I know you didn't really know exactly what we meant, man, but thank you for trusting me and blessing me with a bike. It's not every day that you go into buy a car and you leave with a bike as well, but the guys at BMW show me a lot of love. And shout out to Derek, of course, my sales agent that helped us get the car in the first place. Derek, we, we made it happen. I know we didn't think it was going to happen in the beginning, man, but we got the bike. The bike is home. I promise, man, I'll put just as many miles on the bike as I do the car. I ain't gonna drive it that much. I ain't, I ain't that athletic, but but don't call Nally BMW and say, hey man, Vic say y'all giving out free bikes. I need a bike with my next BMW. I can't guarantee that you guys are gonna get a, B, uh, a bike with your BMW, but if you do go, hey, just know it's possible. That's all I can show y'all. It is possible, man. It's not guaranteed, but it's possible. We did it today, man. We did it today. It might be a history record setting deal with the bike included, but we did it. And nonetheless, you guys saw it here first. History is made. I love y'all. See y'all.